This is how you test a capacitor, pretty much any capacitor. They're very easy to test, providing that you have a multimeter that has the correct setting to test them. Um, to identify a multimeter that has the correct setting to test a capacitor, you'll be looking for a symbol that looks something like this, or like this. Those, the one is a, a millifarad symbol, um, the other one is just a basic capacitor symbol. If you look at this meter right here, you can see under the ohm setting, the very last one right there, there is a capacitance symbol underneath it, which indicates this meter is capable of testing capacitors. Simply go to the ohm setting. It's a digital one, so I'm going to scroll through the different settings. Right there where you see it says NF, that stands for nanofarads, which just is a smaller measurement of farads, but this meter will automatically go to millifarads as soon as it hooks up to a source that it identifies as measured in millifarads. Meter down. This is our first capacitor we'll be testing. You can see these numbers right here, 30 plus 5 microfarads. What you want to do on the top of the capacitor, identify the common located with the C right there. HERM stands for hermetic compressor and FAN. Going from common to FAN will give you one of these two numbers and going from common to HERM will give you the other number. Common and to HERM. Thirty one point one five, and the capacitor itself says thirty plus or minus six percent. So thirty one is within six percent. So that particular one is good. Now I'm going to go from common to fan. very important you get a nice tight connection when you first start. 4.88. The number I was looking for was 5, but 4.88 is within 6%. So this capacitor right here tests good. Here's another type of capacitor. On the top you'll notice this little piece with this red wire coming out of it. Um, what this thing is um, this is actually called a uh, PTCR. It actually unplugs from a capacitor. So when you're testing the capacitor, you do want to take the PTCR off. Also, when testing any capacitor, you do have to have it unhooked from any type of wiring and make sure the power is off when you're doing this. So this thing, this PTCR, these often go bad. So this might be something that you also want to check. I'll make another video for that. Um, but for now, we're just going to discard that. But just so you know, if you want to look it up, it stands for Positive Temperature Control Resistor. There's a piece of ceramic in here um, that actually makes the connection. It's a semiconductor. And as it gets hot, it breaks the connection to the capacitor. So like this capacitor might be used to start an electric motor. Once the motor started, it no longer needs the capacitor. So the PTCR breaks the connection and disengages the capacitor. That's what this is. This particular capacitor is 88 to 108 MFD. That is the exact same as a millifarad. Um, so I will test this. And we're looking for this to land between 88 and 108 to indicate that it's good. 98.4 is definitely between those two numbers. So this capacitor is also good. Here's another capacitor. 7.5 millifarad, or microfarad, I've heard it pronounced both ways. Either way, people seem to know what you're talking about. Seven point one six. So Despite the fact that this one looks terrible, 7.1, it's pretty close to 7.5. I would say that's a working capacitor.